Harry's antics. Angela Levin mocks his ugly appearance to make financial point with ripped jeans. A royal expert jokes that Prince Harry is making a financial point with ripped jeans. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have released their first Christmas card with Lilibet, but Harry's ripped jeans and lack of shoes appear to have stolen the show. Prince Harry wearing ripped jeans in his family's Christmas card, according to a royal expert, could have been making a financial point. On Thursday afternoon, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released their Christmas card for this year, including Lilibet for the first time in a photo, following her birth on June 4 this year. Harry and Meghan are pictured with Lilibet and her older brother Archie in a lovely family portrait on the card. This year we welcomed our daughter, Lilibet, to the world, the card read on their Archul website. Archie and Lily gave us the title of Mama and Papa, and Lily gave us the title of Family. As we look forward to 2022 we have made donations on your behalf to several organizations that honor and protect families, from those being relocated from Afghanistan to American families in need of paid parental leave. Wishing you a happy holiday season and a prosperous new year, from our family to yours. People took to Twitter to express their displeasure with Harry's appearance in the photo, which shows him wearing ripped jeans and walking barefoot. The Sussex children look very sweet and smiley, tweeted royal commentator Angela Levin, author of Harry, Conversations with the Prince. Is Harry trying to make a financial point that he has no shoes and his jeans are torn? Or is he just trying to be with the teenage gang? Twitter users were quick to agree with Ms. Levin, with one writing, I'm not quite sure what he is thinking or doing. Another user had their own theory of why the Duke opted for that look, simply stating, it's the California look. Other users however were quick in defending Harry's fashion choices, with one writing, not today Satan. Let Harry enjoy holidays with his family. Earlier, royal commentator Angela Levin discussed Harry and Meghan's plan to release a public Christmas card with their family for 2021 with talk radio host Mike Graham. Mr. Graham said, should we be expecting a sort of alternative message from Montecito? Ms. Levin said, well, it's quite interesting that we haven't had a Christmas card yet that's released to the public. But I think they'd like to do it last because they got into the idea that the most senior royals arrived last and do these things last, so they are going to trump everybody else. Mr. Graham added, I mean, it would be amazing if they didn't say or do anything which put them into the public limelight at some point. Mr. Graham added, it'll probably be the two of them, the two kids and maybe her mother. Meghan and Harry are keeping fans in suspense over when they will release their Christmas card for 2021, or if they will release one at all. There has been speculation as to whether the couple will take the opportunity to share the first photo of their daughter Lilibet. The couple stepped down as senior royals in January 2020. They subsequently moved to the US in March that year and Meghan has not returned to the UK since. In other news, Prince Harry recently got called out for his less than satisfactory fiscal closing with Travelist Limited. This call out has been issued by Royally Blunt's Twitter page and comes shortly after it was revealed that Travelist Limited ended the fiscal year with an account of £11,538. There is £106,537 cash in total, with almost £241,433 that is available at hand for the prince. But he owes nearly £336,432 as debt payoffs to creditors. In response to these findings, the Twitter page hit back at the royal with a claim that read, Oh but of course. We weren't expecting anything more from Travelist. He says it's travel plus catalyst, I say it's travel plus a list. They also went on to suggest that Prince Harry needs to stop fooling himself, drop the sustainable since he can't hack it, buy a couple of private jets and rent it out to A-list celebrities. And rent it